Hey guys, what's up? We're going to be coming to you today, and I know, I know, it's been a while and stuff that I haven't been on uh, making videos, and because I've been under a little bit of health issues and stuff, and because uh, I suffer with uh, hyperglycemic, and I've uh, been suffering with that for for a long, long time, for many years, and but we are starting to get back under control, and so I can get back on track of what I love doing for y'all guys. And well, I figured something out of with the AlVR Chair Simulator with Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, 2020, and many people has been having problems about this. So I'm going to be doing step by step, and all uh, with the Yao VR Chair, the HP Reverb G2, and the Flight Simulator 2020. So does this work? absolutely and um, so as you can tell when I was uh, getting all this going and getting everything start up everything working perfectly I mean it's just so realistic just too realistic because as you see the chair is moving when you take off I learned how to program it right to be able to get it going. Yeah, you see it does work. Alright, so we are going to dive right into step by step of how to set up the AlVR Chair Simulator with the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Let's do this. Alright. First off, you will come over here and you will download your Windows application to the game engine beta. All right, so we don't need to do that because we already done that. So let's go to my download game engine. All right. This is what you will need. All right. Don't use the time 64 because this time 64 does not work at all but you'll come over here and double click that and you'll install the times 86 the times 86 is what will work and so we already did all that I'm just showing y'all step by step of how to do that so like I said one more time you come here you go to game engine we'll go to Windows download on Windows or Mac and stuff uh, which I don't know nothing about Mac and all because I do Windows so you come to Windows and then after you download it you'll click your download and open it up and don't use the time 64 use the time 86 double click that install that and you're basically ready to go and then you'll come over to the Yao VR times 86 alright then you'll come over here go to flight simulator you go to plug-in manager alright then you'll come down here to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and my game folder is in C program files Windows apps Microsoft Flight Simulator and that's how you will get that into your uh, selection location alright and then you will come here and then install this little patch of the MSI file or just go down here and just patch the game and it will restart for you and then you're just basically ready to go all right so now then we are going to start up Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and we're going to be using the HP Reverb G2 Give that a moment to load. All right. But as you see, that's how you get uh, everything installed to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. This is just going to be a, a short video today just to show you that the Yao VR Chair Simulator does work with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 with the HP Reverb G2. And I'll be using a, my wireless uh, my wireless mouse and also my wireless keyboard with the Yao VR chair simulator. All right, and uh, this is what you'll need to do. All right, when that comes up, when it goes into main menu, all 
All right, when it goes into the main menu, you'll just press the start icon and then you'll go from there. Because you'll see what I'm about to do. Okay, all right, now you'll just go right here and press start, all right, and now you see it's working, all right, so now then, all right, now you'll see right here on my phone how it's working, Microsoft Flight Simulator, then you'll just press the start button on your cell phone, all right, so we'll do that when we get into the game. All right. All right. So now then, as you see, all right, now we're going to start the start button on my phone. All right. It just clicked. All right. So now then, we got my wireless keyboard. All right. And then I got my Xbox controller, and I'm also using my Thrustmaster stick. So, all right, so now then we're going to start this up. All right, here we go. I can feel it vibrating. And I'm not good at this yet. I was at Prepar 3D, but oh, but not this one just yet. Oh, I'm just going to fly over my home, my home area. Which I'm not really from Memphis, I'm just from Arkansas, but this is what I like to do. But you see though, that this does work. We got it in live weather because we got some rain in the area coming today. That's the Memphis International Airport of KMEM. -E Man, just look how realistic this looks. Well, that'd be cool if you could just uh, press the trigger button and stuff like that to start firing at things. <laughs> but man, yes, if I stepped outside right now, this is what I would see in real time. We're going to land at this other airport way up here after we see the Bass Pro Shop. But see, the HP Reverb G2 is actually pretty good because I'm pushing good frame rates. Oh, 
I don't know where Grayson would be at. Probably somewhere over in this area. But just look how good the effects are with the HP Reverb G2. This is still one of the best VR headsets on the market today, I think, with the Flight Simulator. This is what the Flight Simulator 2020 is really built for, is the HP Reverb G2. And it does reduce your motion sickness and stuff like that. If, uh, if people get motion sickness, oh yeah, this actually reduces it with the Yao VR. There's the Mississippi River. But yeah, we got some very heavy rainfall and possibly some winter weather by the end of the night. Because it sure does look like it's trying to rain over there, around close, around over there in Arkansas. But yeah, my frames are really pushing really good. I like that. Well, this makes you feel like you're actually here just having a blast with the LVR. A real life situation, it feels like. <laughs> but this is one of the best relaxing games. We're going to land at that airport right, right in front of us here. Whoa! <laughs> There's the Memphis Bridge. But yeah, you just got to come to Memphis, just explore. It's a, it's a wonderful city, I think. Got the FedEx Forum where wrestling comes and where the Memphis Grizzlies play at. Ah. See, I'm not a good pilot at all. <laughs> but there's the FedEx Forum, the Sam Phillips Studio where Elvis became famous is right down there and somewhere down there ah see I'm not a good pilot at all <laughs> there's the Memphis Redbirds Whew. Okay, time to lower the, try to bring the wheels down. There's the Bass Pro Shop. Uh-oh. Ah. Uh. Whew.
But just look how good the scenery is in real time. But I don't know how to fix those watermarks and stuff like that. Because uh, the river's not really like that in real life. Like right there where that little line is at. So if anybody let me know down in the comments how to be able to fix that on the water like that, let me know. All right, start slowing her down. All right, <laughs> now we're going to jump into the outro. Okay, so what do I think about, all right, what do I think about all this with the, um, with the HP Reverb G2, the Al VR chair simulator, and all in real time? Well, is it worth it? I would say yes if you're really into flight simulators with the uh, Yao VR chair. So what is the best VR headset for the flight simulator 2020? Well I would have to say the HP Reverb G2 because the, if you just seen the stunning graphics on that, oh wow. I didn't have to go, I didn't have time to go through all my settings or I would have done that and stuff. But, um, but yeah, is this worth it? I would say yes, because I love flight simulators because I was doing Prepar 3D before before I even got the Yao VR chair simulator. And uh, and boy, that was really neat too, flying in real time. But yeah, you just, uh, like I told you, you go to uh, the main uh, the, the main site of the YaoVRChair.com and then you'll download, if you got Windows or Mac, just do it on, if you got Mac, you could just do it, uh, download it somehow Mac because I don't know how to use app or anything like that but uh, on Windows you go to the the download engine of the Windows download that then times 86 not times 64 because it won't work on times 64 and all so I'll leave all the links down in the description down below so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button dislike button notify me on the bell hit the subscribe channel and um, because my channel is a little slowly growing but I would like for it to really bloom and all because this is what I love to do for y'all guys and if uh, so if y'all want to see more of this video please share this video hit the subscribe button until next time I will see you in the next one. Cheers.